When you're gonna make up your mind? When are you gonna love yourself as much as I do? How many times, you know, my girlfriends that are in their 60s have said, I just don't feel like myself. And I, I would say, well, is that bad? And they would say, I don't know. Cats are my favorite people, said Desi. Never. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is just so, so, so beautiful. <laughs> Life is glorious, but sometimes it's like an unscented candle. Why bother? Feel like you're alone When you lost something worth fighting for Do you take it, take it as a low? All I need is another chance to get back up and make amends Another chance, this one will be different Gotta let me, gotta let me try Leave the skyline, heading back to old times Like the pipe up, I feel like I'm doing fine Chase the place with whatever I'm chasing Anything to leave my head Where the mistakes feel like a blessing And my mind is clear of the mess I'm in Chase the place with whatever I'm chasing I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a wonderful week. I had such a busy week, but I got so many things done and, and I, I'm so happy and I'm so grateful to be <laughs> sitting here with you right now. We are going to have some fun. I am going to do a video today I have wanted to do for months. And that is a video just geared towards women who are basically in their middle 60s and beyond. Because, you know, I want to tell you how this kind of came about. You know, I have girls, I watch, ladies, women, I watch on YouTube that I adore. And a lot of them are in their 40s and 50s and it's like, oh yeah, I do that, I do that well. When I turned 64, nothing was going right. And the advice I was getting wasn't working. There were things about my body that were changing and my health, my skin, my hair. I mean, you name it. So nothing, and, and the makeup tips were ridiculous. I, I couldn't get anything to work. So I started talking to my doctor and I started reading some books and, and doing some research and I came up with about uh, six or seven things that have really helped me a lot. Um, things exclusive to women my age and, and beyond. So I wanted to share uh, those things with you and maybe some of those things you already know, but why not just go through them and have a conversation about them? So this video is, I don't know, seven things that every woman over 60 should know and memorize. And there's going to be a test. <laughs> okay, maybe not. The first thing that I want to bring up is one of the most important things. And that is your B12 levels and your vitamin D levels. These are so crucial to you, so important. So I urge you to have a conversation with your doctor. Have your vitamin D levels checked, please. And ask your doctor about your B12 levels. And the, the way this works is when you are deprived of... Uh, vitamin D and B12, you can gain weight, you can be very fatigued and sluggish, you can suffer from depression and anxiety out of the blue, uh, you can have confused thought, and it can even affect your joints. So, <laughs> in your body. <laughs> you know, the next thing I want to share with you is about skin care. And you know, when we get into like our middle 60s, our skin is getting thinner and it's flattening out. So this isn't the time for us, you know, to continue being so harsh with our skin. If you've never been on Retin-A, 65 is not the age 
where you're going to want to start using Retin-A. But you're, you are going to want to talk to your dermatologist about this. But there are many alternatives for, for your skin other than Retin-A that, that you might want to pursue. But at, at 65, I no longer put any wash rag, uh, any washcloth uh, on my skin. And with a towel, I just pat it. So I am very gentle with my skin. There is no Clarisonic that I'm using. There, there is no, there's no nothing. So it's very important to me that my skin, I want it to be very soft and, and uh, supple and any type of tugging and pulling, even from a washcloth, I, I just can't allow it. You know, another thing I had to do is cut back on all those harsh things that I was using to peel my skin or exfoliate my skin. And if you look at the most expensive products on the market for mature women, you know, $200 creams, $300 serums, the one ingredient that they all have in common is castor oil. I mean, we're talking about Genevieve. Uh, we are talking about, um, well, dermatologists always uh, will uh, recommend uh, eucerin if your skin is chapped or in some type of distress or trouble. Uh, they will uh, ask you to use eucerin. Well, what is one of the number one ingredients in eucerin and Genevieve and uh, Kate Summersville $100 um, a vitamin C cream? It's castor oil. So you know what I do now at 65 is I take my bottle of castor oil and I add it to every moisturizer I have. I add it to serums. Um, this is my very favorite night cream. This is my Nutri-C night cream. I add my castor oil to my, my night cream which just bumps it up a notch. So you know I use castor oil at night on my on my lids and on my lashes and a little bit underneath my uh, underneath my eyes. So I already have it in my hands, but I don't think I truly appreciated the power of castor oil until I got to be 65. So I wanted to pass that on. All I need is another chance to get back up and make a mess, yeah. The most important thing I'm going to share with you today is the gift of dance. And I know we all hear about, you know, drink lots of water and exercise and get out there and walk and all that is true and all that is great for us. But the number one thing that we can do for our bodies and our well-being is dance. And, you know, just put on your favorite, your favorite songs and, and just, you know, maybe start small, but 10 minutes, work up to 15 minutes, and then 30 minutes. But dancing, and you don't have to have a partner. I mean, if you do have a partner, that's cool. You can go out dancing. But if you don't, you know, like me, every day for 30 minutes, I dance. And you know what that does for me? Dancing helps depression. It helps anxiety. It helps my heart. It helps my circulation. It helps with my balance. It helps with my tone of my body. And it helps stay off Alzheimer's. Really? Honestly. So why in the world would I not dance? And I don't care. I mean, you shut the door. Nobody in the world is going to be, you know, seeing you get down to your favorite band and don't say a white snake. <laughs> But, I mean, I got Aerosmith, and I got the Stones, and I got the Beatles, and I mean, and I've got Top 40, uh, all the latest songs. I mean, and it's funny, too, when I am really in, in, when you start dancing, when I am really in that mode of dance, I, you don't want to stop, because, you know, all other kind of exercises, it's like, oh, when can I quit? But, you know... Once everything kicks in, you don't want to stop. It, it's just, it's a wonderful thing to do for a, a beautiful toned body and a healthy heart and a healthy mind. 
So put on something comfortable, shut the door, put on your very favorite songs or, you know, start a YouTube playlist and, and dance. Dan dance, for, dance for your body, dance for your heart, dance for your mind, dance, dance like your life depends on it because it does. You know, they say what ages us isn't necessarily wrinkles or age spots, but tone. So I, I think that's kind of, you know, a good idea to, to keep in mind for those of us that, you know, don't really want to uh, cut our face or, or get into procedures. I, I think whatever we can do to help our tone, the tone of our face and, you know, the muscles uh, underneath. For any woman in her 60s and beyond, she needs to get herself a good sculpting cream. And it's something that I have rarely talked about. But there's so many good ones on the market. Garnier has a great one. Bobbi Brown has a wonderful one. And uh, City Beauty, this one right here, this is a good one. I have just started using this one. I was using the Garnier one. And this one is very good too. But I think a sculpting cream is kind of, it's kind of like a little facelift in a jar. Um, you you want to make sure that you pick your sculpting cream with very hydrating though in, ingredients because sculpting creams can be very harsh on our skin. The other thing that I love that helps me a little bit with my tone, and I'm, I'm really seeing it in my cheek area, is my New Face. This is the New Face Mini, and this is something where this works on microcurrent to help your jawline and uh, to help your cheek area, uh, to lift your eyes, and uh, uh, well, I guess you wouldn't be lifting your eyes, would you? You'd be lifting your brows. <laughs> but I love my New Face. Studies show that we have a slight personality change in our 60s. We no longer see things as black and white. We, we are able to see more nuances in life. We, we, have, uh, we understand things uh, to be a little more ambiguous than how we perceived them before. So we're changing and I don't know how many times, you know, my girlfriends that are in their 60s have said, I just don't feel like myself. And I, I would say, well, is that bad? And they would say, I don't know. <laughs> and I, I know that feeling. One of the best things that studies have shown for all of us in our 60s is that we have a burst of creativity. And I think that is partly due to the fact that we no longer see things as black and white. So it seems like this is a perfect time for us to have a whole new life. You know, write that novel we always wanted to write or that book of poetry. How about some music or, or learn how to play the piano or an instrument or start that YouTube channel. I know so many of you have told me that's my dream. I want to start my channel. I just don't dare. Maybe now is the time. You know, when we're in our 60s, we don't get reflected back. So anytime a woman in her 60s, 70s, and beyond is on this platform or any other platform, it's like heaven to us. It's like, yeah, we're reflected back. We feel powerful. We, we feel that we're part of something, a, a real movement. So I think that once we realize that we don't have to be afraid of change and what, maybe we're, we're not our old self, maybe we're a better version of ourselves and what a perfect time to, to volunteer, to take, to take our wisdom and pay it forward. Well, I guess, you know, you don't have to go to Tibet and find a mountain and, and shout out everything you've learned in your, you know, 70 years. You don't have to do that. 
Maybe it's just a quiet moment with your grandchildren. But we have all this wisdom. We have a lifetime of experience. And how wonderful to be able to, to pay it forward. To, to pay it forward all that wisdom that we have and all that love we have to give. I want to thank you all so much for going shopping with me on my birthday last week. I had, you know, a gift certificate to spend and I just had so much fun and your comments were over the top. They were so kind. Thank you so much. And you know what? Yesterday, I had $60 left on that gift certificate, so I went back out yesterday. This time I went to Burlington and I took you with me. And I found the coolest things. I mean, I didn't have a lot of money to spend this time around, but I had so much fun. And you know how I love Nicole Miller. So I found this cool, um, this little uh, bracelet that matches, well, this is Nicole Miller's bracelet. And it matches this beautiful chiffon maxi skirt that I just fell in love with. And it's the type of skirt that is so romantic. It's so Carly Simon, Stevie Nicks. But I just love it. And I want to, well, I want to try it on for you and see what you think. But this is it. Look at this. Woo! <laughs> When are you going to make up your mind? When are you going to love yourself as much as I do? You know, there's a Tori Amos song called Winter, and I have been thinking about that song all week. And, and one of the lyrics in that song is, When are you going to make up your mind? When are you going to love you as much as I do? And I have been... I have been thinking about that all week. I have so many girlfriends my age, and sometimes when I talk to them, they're so harsh on themselves. They're so rough on themselves. And I always think that. When are you, when are you gonna love yourself as much as I do? When are you gonna see that beautiful woman that I see? There's another lyric in that song, and, and the lyric is, I always wanted you to be proud of me. And that made me think about the last week of, the last weeks of my mother's life. And I was kind of distraught and really tired, and, and I laid my head on the bed, and I was crying, and my record was coming out, and I wanted, I wanted her to be there for it. I wanted her to be proud of me, and I said that. I said, Mom, all I ever wanted was for you to be proud of me. And she woke up, and she heard what I had said. And she just said so calmly, I wanted that too. I wanted you to be proud of me. And I thought, I guess we just kind of got in each other's way of being proud. Life breaks everybody. It's just some people are, are stronger at the broken places. Hey, everybody.
everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second of it. Please have yourself a wonderful brand new week. Did you like Desi's yoga last week? <laughs> have yourself a great new week. And when you're done with your week, you come back and see us, okay? All right, it's a deal. Happy Valentine's Day to my Prince Charming, wherever you may be. Happy Valentine's Day. When are you going to love yourself as much as I do? Even when I healed up and I was strong, I heard those words. Give me five, give me five, Des. Give me five.